Today, I'm going to add one top 100 superstar from every NFL team. The goal is to construct a roster to compete for a Super Bowl in just one season, but we have to fill out the entire roster using this wheel of overalls. This means we can't just pick the best player from every NFL team, which will make this a lot more difficult. Spinning the wheel for the first time, and it lands on a good one. We could pick a player from 95 to 97 overall, and I have a couple players in mind. There are plenty of options here from the NFL top 100 list, like Joe Burrow, who comes in at number 6 and a 95 overall, Chris Jones at a 96 overall in Madden and 10th on the top 100 list, plus a few other superstars. And I decided to bring the ninth best player in the NFL, Micah Parsons. He is an elite pass rusher who can do it all on that Cowboys defense. Now that we added our first player to the team, we can no longer pick a player from the Dallas Cowboys. The next wheel spin lands on 70 to 79 overall player, and this is going to hurt our chances for sure. I decided to look at wide receivers since we could use that depth, and I found two players that can really help our team. Dehan Dodson of the Commander or DJ Chark Jr. of the Panthers. After going back and forth on it, I decided to go with DJ Chark Jr. since he's 6'3 and has 94 speed. Slotting him in at wide receiver number one and knocking off our second NFL team from the list. If we are unable to fill a certain position on the team, we will be left with a 70 or below rated player to fill that spot, which will ultimately hurt our goal of winning a Super Bowl. With the wheel landing on a player between 89 and 91 overall, I had a tough choice to make here. Do I bring in a quarterback like Lamar Jackson who came in at number 72 on the NFL's top 100, or do I take one of the many wide receivers available but instead I went with 89 overall Jeffrey Simmons of the Titans and he'll fit nicely on that defensive line. The next wheel spin lands on 95 to 97 overall once again and I decided to go with Raiders superstar Devontae Adams. He'll slide in at wide receiver number one moving DJ Chark Jr. to wide receiver number two and to my surprise we hit the jackpot landing on 98 to 99 overall and we have plenty of options here. Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Donald, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey and Zach Martin are the five players that joined the 99 club this Madden. But unfortunately, Zach Martin is not an option since we already went with Micah Parsons, so I decided to go with QB number one, Patrick Mahomes, who comes in at number one on the NFL Top 100 list. And after adding Patrick Mahomes as QB number one, we completed five NFL teams so far. The next two wheel spins lands on rookie and then 86 to 88 overall. After searching for the right players to add to the team, I decided to bring in the eighth overall pick, B. John Robinson of the Falcons, as running back number one, and then number 69 on the Top 100 list in Matt Milano, fitting in as our first linebacker on the team. But after spinning the wheel, it lands on an 80 to 82 overall player. There was quite a bit of players to choose from, but I decided to go with Commander's left tackle, Charles Leno Jr. Quickly moving on, the wheel of overalls continues to make it difficult for us, landing on 83 to 85. I narrowed my choices down to outside linebacker Josh Allen of the Jacksonville Jaguars and Eric Kendricks of the Chargers, but I decided to go with Josh Allen since there's plenty of other options on the Chargers. He is sliding in next to Matt Milano on the defense. I'm really hoping for a big spin here to help Patrick Mahomes and it's going to land on 89 to 91. No brainer here, showing up the offensive line with Teron Armstead of the Dolphins who came in at number 83 on the top 100 list. And just like that, we are 10 teams down and the next wheel is even better. Bringing in the newest member of the 99 club and second best player in the NFL, Justin Jefferson. Can you imagine a world where Patrick Mahomes and Jefferson play on the same team? That would just be so unfair. Spinning the wheel twice here, and we have to add a player between 92 and 94 overall, and then 95 and 97. Easy choices here, beefing up our secondary with Sauce Gardner of the Jets and Jair Alexander of the Green Bay Packers. Thank you to Pristine Auction for sponsoring today's video. PristineAuction.com is the most trusted sports memorabilia and collectibles auction site out there. On PristineAuction.com, the options start at just $1, and each day there are over a thousand autographed items available from your favorite players that can be won at an affordable price. And they have just about every player that you you could want. I'm talking Justin Jefferson, Patrick Mahomes, and even Tom Brady. And you can rest assured that every item on pristineauction.com comes with a certificate of authenticity from the industry's most reputable authenticators. And the best part, if you sign up and use registration code up and Adam, not only will you get $10 off your first item one, you will also be entered in a giveaway to win this signed Tyree Kill Miami Dolphins helmet. So here's your chance to win. All you have to do is click the link in the description and use registration code up and Adam to enter the giveaway. The giveaway winner will be drawn on August 31st and a huge thanks to pristineauction.com for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into it. Now that our defense got a huge boost, I'm really hoping we could bring in a safety and the wheel might just allow us to do that, bringing in a player that's an 89 to a 91 overall. And this one is easy, bringing in Buda Baker as strong safety number one. He did manage to secure number 73 on the NFL top 100 list. 
Moving this along a little bit faster, the next three wheel spins land on 82, Rookie, and 83 to 85. Obviously, this wasn't ideal, but I decided to bring in Ben Powers of the Broncos, Rookie Jalen Carter of the Eagles, and Tariq Woolen of the Seahawks. And with those three spins, we have used half of the teams and our roster is looking nice. Luckily for us, the wheel lands in our favor, giving us a chance to bring in a player who's between a 92 and 94 overall, and this one was a no-brainer. Bringing in TJ Watt, who was voted 27th on the top 100 list, and he's going to fit nicely alongside Josh Allen. Continuing along, it lands on a 95 to 97, and I have a few players I have in mind here. The Niners have George Kittle, Fred Warner, and Christian McCaffrey. But we know how much Patrick Mahomes relies on his tight end, so we're going to be bringing in George Kittle as tight end number one. Moving along, the next two wheel spins lands on 70 to 79 and 86 to 88 once again, adding Ernest Jones from the Rams and Kyle Duggar from the Patriots. But our luck turned around on the very next spin, landing on the jackpot once again. We can choose a player that's a 98 or 99 overall, but unfortunately there's only one player that we can go with since all the other teams have been used, and that was Miles Garrett of the Cleveland Browns. He came in at number 20 on the NFL Top 100 list as well. And he'll be playing alongside Micah Parsons and Simmons on that D-line. With 22 teams accounted for, the next player that we have to bring has to be an 86 to 88 overall, and that's completely fine. I'm bringing in Frank Ragnow as our starting center. Spinning the wheel two more times here, and we have 92 to 94, and then it lands on Rookie. But I did find Jamar Chase, who's a 94 overall, and will be wide receiver number three behind Jefferson and Adams. As for the Rookie, Deontay Banks was drafted by the Giants, and he'll be some depth for our secondary. Only seven teams remain, and we are still missing a guard, a fullback, and a number one running back, while on defense, we still need a middle linebacker. Spinning the wheel, and it lands on 89 to 91, and I have a player in mind, but I'm not sure what his overall is. After checking his rating, Justin Tucker is a 91 overall, and he'll be our starting kicker. Moving this along, the next three wheel spins land on 70 to 79, 83 to 85, and then 89 to 91 once again. Bringing in three solid choices here in Devin Wade of the Bucks, Jack Mason of the Texans and Austin Eckler of the Chargers. With just the Bears, Colts, and Saints left, I'm hoping we can fill out the rest of our roster so we can win a Super Bowl. The next two wheel spins land on 86 to 88 and 70 to 79. So I went ahead and brought in Tremaine Edmonds of the Bears and punter Rigoberto Sanchez of the Colts, showing up two important pieces on our roster. The last wheel spin lands on 92 to 95, but unfortunately the Saints don't have any player rated above a 91. So I'm going to pick Tyron Matthew and he'll be our starting free safety on the team. The team is now complete a really solid offense, and an even better defense. The first game against a divisional opponent started off great. Mahomes leading his team to score on the opening drive thanks to Justin Jefferson, and then the defense comes up big, and they just kept on scoring, easily winning their opening game 35-14 thanks to Austin Eckler's four touchdowns. And this team just kept winning. Through the first seven weeks, this team was undefeated and led their division. And after simming the rest of the season, this team of superstars finished with a 16-1 and record and now have a first round bye heading into the playoffs. Their only loss came at the hands of the Giants in Week 10. Patrick Mahomes led the entire NFL in passing yards with 4,942 touchdowns. Eckler showed off his ability finishing third in the NFL in rushing, while Justin Jefferson led the NFL in receiving yards. The offense finished first in the NFL while the defense finished second. The divisional game against the 9-8 49ers started off great. Eckler punching it in for a second touchdown of the first half, and the dominance continued as the team of superstars are moving on to the next round. A huge game against Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, but that didn't phase this team. George Kittle getting them on the board early. And then moments later, Micah Parsons comes up with a huge stack on third and long. They kept their foot on the gas, scoring over and over again easily defeating a very good Eagles team 45 to 20 and Patrick Mahomes threw for 400 yards with six touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes was NFL MVP but now they take on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. Mahomes takes a huge sack and they are forced to punt the ball to Buffalo. Early in the second quarter Josh Allen gets his team into scoring position but the defense comes up big holding them to three points. Just before halftime Mahomes gets his team into the red zone and Eckler is able to punch it in for seven. Josh Allen is down 14 and he throws an interception to Jair Alexander and Mahomes ends up scoring two more times and the lead is now extended to 28 points with very little time left for Josh Allen. And just like that, the team of superstars from every NFL team win the Super Bowl after finishing the season 16-1. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll love this one. You should definitely go check that one out.